I'm doing another product review video. Um, last time it was on my hair, this time it's on my face. And I, like I said, my hair is the one thing I'm vain about, but at the same time, I'm obsessive compulsive and I'm a fan of routines. So I do have a routine for this. Let me take my glasses off so you guys can see my face a little bit better. Um, I switch between glasses and contacts, so if you're going used as to why you've seen glasses most of the time not. I'm trying to get in the habit of wearing my contacts again. So, as I started off in the last video, just want to put out there again, I am not sponsored by any of the products that are mentioned in this video or any of the companies mentioned in this video. I'm just sharing my experiences out there with all of you and like I said, again, I'm not super vain about my looks. Um, trying to get into wearing makeup and things of that nature in my late 20s. <laughs> um, I never wore much makeup at all. Maybe to fancy dinners and things like, or special events and things like that. But otherwise, I don't wear makeups. Still, I have problems with my skin. I don't have problems with too much oil, I have the opposite. As I mentioned the last video I did on my hair, my scalp is really dry and that's just my skin in general. I have really horrible dry skin. My parents fought to keep breakouts down when I was a child and in the winter time my skin gets so horribly dry. But I literally have to resort to medicated creams, lotions, and things of that nature. So when it comes to my face, I try to minimize the damage by keeping a routine and it does help from time to time. I swear by four products. That's it. Four products. Sounds like a lot for the face, but there's a method to my madness, as there always is. Um, I usually go in a rotation between St. Ives Nourished and Smooth Oatmeal Scrub and Mask. It's for skin softening and it takes away dryness. Um, the one thing I love about St. Ives, paraben free and hypoallergenic. But the, as bad as my skin is, I don't need to be putting something that will cause it to break out on top of the dryness. And then the other ones, this is the, the item I've been using since high school, and it has yet to fail me. It's St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Cleanser. It gently cleans and clears pores, and it's 100% natural extracts. I absolutely love St. Ives Apricot Cleanser. And the third item I will rotate in, yes, I have a three-day rotation on this, and this one's the newest item. It's by Dial. It's Deep Cleansing Face Wash, clinically proven for clearer looking skin in three days. It does have a little bit of an acne treatment in there, so when I do get pimples, I tend to rely on this a little bit more. But as you can see, my husband and I are almost out. He uses this from time to time too. So as far as I know, guys, it does just as well on the men as it does on the ladies. And he... I think this is our second bottle of this. Um, I think he really likes it because of how it gets in with like his facial hair and helps minimize any any problems he might have with like ingrown hairs turning into pimples and things of that nature. But this is the harshest thing I use. There's two percent of the acne treatment in there, and by time you mix it with some water, it's pretty gentle compared to other acne treatments and like I said I don't have super oily skin so this is as strong as I dare to go and I don't always use it on the third day um, sometimes I'll give my day that third day make it a rest day depending on if I have pimples creeping up or not but on day one I usually go with the apricot cleanser and then day two I'll do the oatmeal one and then again, day three is either a resting day or it's the acne treatment day. And now this item, my dermatologist, yes, I have to see a skin doctor, my skin's so bad, 
how do you think I get those medicated items? Um, my dermatologist recommended this brand to me, and originally I was using their facial cleanser in place um, before I started using oatmeal one by St. Ives. And it just didn't leave my skin feeling super, super clean. Moisturized? Yes. But I kind of felt like I had a very thin veneer of lotion on my face that would sometimes never come off without washing my face with something like the acne or something like the apricot cleanser. So I got looking and I found this. I figured I should moisturize my face after I'm done damaging it. And this is by Cetaphil. It's the Daily Advanced Lotion Ultra Hydrating for Dry Sensitive Skin. Um, I think it's meant as a body lotion, but it's pretty thin, which is good when you're putting lotion on your face so you don't feel like you're shellacking it. Um, it feels great on the skin. It doesn't leave a residue, and it sets up really well. My only concern with it is it's not quite strong enough for areas like right here. I have a semi-oily T-zone in here across my nose. But you get up into my forehead right above my nose or you get out to the side of my cheeks. It gets pretty dry and that's in the summertime. It's pretty desert like in the summer and in the winter I have wooden burn before I even go outside sometimes. So this has become a godsend for me. And like I said, I just apply it after every time my face gets washed and treats me very well. Now when I wear makeup, I do even more moisturizing because like I said, I have really dry areas here and out here. And the only way to beat that and avoid my foundation and my powder or what have you looking cakey or flaky and usually I get flaky over cakey um, because it just accents what's peeling up I just took to adding even more moisturizers on top of that and I don't know how you guys would feel about that or if you think that's necessarily a bad thing and probably I'll go into a makeup routine in a later video. Most likely not anytime within the next couple days because like we said in another video we have other things, other video projects we're working on. So if you guys have any opinions on what other facial cleansers to use that you really truly abide by or if you have any moisturizers you're a huge fan of that you think might help me with my flaky issue when I do makeup so I don't have to put as moisture much different products and moisturizers on my face let me know okay just leave a message down below and hopefully in the next video it will be just as great as this one love you guys thanks for watching